Leo, what it do, what it do. Let's go ahead and bust out your bonus reading for the month of May. If you would like information for scheduling a personal reading, information for that is in the description of the video. Also in this one too, I'd like to thank everybody who showed love to my friend that was in a really bad accident. Uh, those of you who showed love and uh, sent prayers or donations or whatever, it was greatly appreciated. If you would like to check that out, uh, my friend's GoFundMe page is in the description of the video as well. So yeah, um, everything else though, social media, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff, description of the video. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. What else can we tell my Leo? Universe, Ooh, the Empress just showed her face. <coughs> Empress just showed her face. That could be good. Oh yeah. My main goal with bonus readings is to get details that I may have missed in the main monthly. That's why I do it. It's not always what happens. Uh, you never really know what's going to come through, but just to let you know what a bonus reading is, those of you new to my channel. Let's get six shuffles for your first spread. One, two, three, four, three more. Boom, oh, five of cups overall. All right, so, man, overall, disappointment, okay? I see you pretty disappointed in the way this all turned out. Sadness, heartbreak, and I think people know it too. It's no secret, okay? Overall, it's five of cups. The way people are looking at you from the outside in is the six of swords. People see you making a transition. People see you transitioning on from whatever this was. And if you look at the Six of Swords here, this is a card of transition and moving on, but there are swords stuck in the boat, indicating it's not a smooth transition, not really. And people see that, because this is how people see you from the outside looking in, okay? On the inside though, you feel like 10 of Cups reversed, okay? And with the Five of Cups being the overall energy, I'm feeling like, you're actually bummed out about this. It's not like you chose to put an end to this. You actually um, probably really, really wanted that uh, Ten of Cups energy there. Really wanted this to be that happy relationship that, you know, the house, the picket fence, all that good stuff, you know, and it didn't turn out that way. And big time bummer, big time bummer. So anyway, let's get five shuffles here. There's one, two, Three, two more. I don't like the shuffle process any more than you, but it is what it is, man. Okay, some of y'all could be dealing with the Pisces, but I feel like for the most part, could have been some secrets come out, or maybe you were holding how you felt on the inside, uh, keeping it to yourself for a while. And now it's no secret. You're, you're letting it know. You're letting it be known how you really feel. And I think once you get that out of you and you purge most of that negative energy out, it's like you feel so much better. You know, it's like I said what I needed to say. It's not eating me alive from the inside out now, you know? Um, As, as bummed out as you were and as badly as you didn't want it to be this way, I feel like with this King of Wands energy here, this is a Leo card, regardless of what decision you made, it was a final decision, okay? Three of Wands reversed, King of Wands upright. So it's not like there's a whole lot of speculation going on here. The person you're dealing with, on the other hand, Oh, they definitely feel like this cycle is incomplete between the two of you, Wheel of Fortune reversed. But the truths and the facts of the situation and the nature of it, um, they're ignoring. They're ignoring the truth and the facts. Um, four of Pentacles reversed. I do think they are releasing and letting go of this. 
Uh, but I feel like they uh, they got that two of cups energy right there. I think they do want to come together with you, but it's a waste of time. You've made up your mind. It's one of those types of things where I don't really feel like it's out of your control. It's just you felt like that was the only decision that could be made. That was the only option. Like, even though I don't want this, there are no other options. There are no other choices. If that makes any sense, you know? So you feel, you definitely feel like you wasted your time. That's the underlying energy of six of wands reverse, wasted time and failure. Okay, let's look a little bit more at the person that you're dealing with. Person, people, and or situations playing the biggest influence on my Leos. The person Leo is dealing with. Come on, cards. There we go. There we go. Mm, the Empress is showing her face again. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a Taurus. By the way, every time I pull a new spread, I pull a different deck. I got a bunch of decks laying here. Those of you new to my channel and my style, I'm always pulling a different deck every time I uh, grab a different spread. Boom, seven of wands energy. All right, they're very heavily guarded. Very heavily guarded. And I kind of feel like they're the type of person that is always on defense with you. You know, they always assume. It's kind of like that energy. It's like, I assume that you're coming at my throat. So just that assumption makes me automatically want to come at your throat. So no matter what, even if you're not coming at me, there's an argument involved because I'm, I have my defenses up all the time. All right. Let's get four shuffles here. Leo card showing his face. One, two, ten of pentacles. Definitely be dealing with an earth sign here. Doesn't have to be, could be anybody. They want equal give and take here. They're still holding on to negative. They're still holding a grudge though, for real. They're not losing sleep over this either, but they're still pissed off. They're still holding a the grudge. They still blame you. They still blame you. I feel like though, this person is probably more, like the way they're geared to look at things is more materialistic. Now, that doesn't mean that every cross watcher is like only cares about money. What I mean though is that of all, overall, this person, the way that they go through life is very materialistically. Like every material thing is what matters, you know? Um, I don't know any other way to word that really, but just in your everyday perceptions of life. You know, you pay more attention to the material things and, and your things mean more to you than, than other people, you know? So that's what I'm seeing here. That's what I'm seeing. As badly as they do want equal give and take, they want equal give and take, but I don't really know. Maybe that's what the problem is. Maybe you don't look at this very materialistically and that's their version of equal give and take. You know, as long as, you know, everything materialistically is equal give and take, then it's equal give and take. And I don't really think you see it that way for some of you. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Well, where's this situation most likely headed? Two of Swords. <sighs> well, that's one hell of an outcome card there, isn't it? Two of Swords, that's like inaction, indecision. Can't make up my mind. Can't make up a decision, so it's not really much of an outcome at all. Let's get four shuffles. One, two, three, seven of Wands again, and four. Yeah, I don't really think that, uh, oh, hang on, I don't want to talk just yet. Four wands reversed. Yeah, no, no decisions being made because the door is slammed shut on this particular opportunity here. Okay. Oh, yeah, I do think that most of you are going to be dealing with somebody who does make a return. Though. I do think that they are going to come back around. It's not going to be successful, though. It's not going to go anywhere. 
But I do think that uh, you probably will hear from this person again, for sure, okay? Eight of Cups reverse and Knight of Cups, Two of Cups, all right? This Eight of Cups reverse is a past person making a, making a comeback, basically, you know? Um, but Ten of Cups is in the reverse. Whoever this is that's coming back around, I don't know if it's you or them, going to return to this situation. It's very counterintuitive, okay? Your intuition is telling you, <clears throat> no, the doorway is no longer open. This is a closed door. Okay, this is a big time closed door. So, oh man, yeah, chariot reversed. It ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere. There is no more fuel in that vehicle. No domain, no domain, no domain. So anywho, things to watch out for and advice moving forward. Judgment in the reverse, all right? Don't be so quick to judge everything, all right? One of the biggest mistakes that we make as humans is we are too quick to assign a meaning to experiences. See, you're the one that assigns a meaning to everything you experience in life. You're the one that does that. But a lot of times, we jump to conclusions too quick. Um, this thing could happen now and you could label it with a particular meaning right now, but you'll end up finding out a year or two down the line, oh, that actually turned out not to mean what I thought it did, if that makes sense. You know, especially a lot of times we do that with bad things, when bad things happen. We label it this bad experience, but then a year or two down the line, we look back and we're like, ah, uh, well, I honestly see why it had to happen though, because had that not happened, I wouldn't have met you, or I wouldn't have gotten this job, or I wouldn't have been on the path to discover this successful business, or something like that, you know? So don't be too quick to judge your experiences. All right, let's get four shuffles. One, two, three, and four. Seven of Cups reverse. Do not allow yourself to be distracted by a bunch of different love options, okay? Oh, you, the decision you made needs to be final. Because like I said, I do think that um, somebody's going to come back around here. And if it's you wanting to come back around, don't do it. You've already made your decision. Make it final. If the other person comes back around, hey, you got to keep your flagpole in the ground. I made my decision. My decision is what it is. I know that you all are pretty damn fixed and stubborn, so I don't really think that's going to be a hard thing to, hard concept for you to grasp. But just in case you needed like extra permission, yes, yes, don't don't cave under pressure. Uh, what you need to do is step out of your comfort zone. That's where most of your growth is going to happen outside of your comfort zone. Watch out for people who think they know everything. Okay, you know you know that person. That uh, in general, every day, everyday life, they always seem to think they know everything about everything. You know, they never ever step back and say, "Hmm, I don't know. Let's go find out." You know, watch out for that kind of person. A lot of times, that's just a, a big ego trap. You know, <laughs> a big ego trap. Doesn't matter. It's okay not to know everything. Be teachable. You know what I mean? So, uh, anywho, um. I greatly appreciate everybody that tuned in. I'm going to go ahead and end this here. I feel like your all's message has come through. I greatly appreciate it, man. Thank you all for tuning in. You don't know how much how much it means, you know, the, the love and the support and all that. Uh, more than I could ever really express. Okay, so anyway, again, look in the description of the video for information on scheduling personal reading. Uh, other than that, though, I'll see y'all sometime between now and the rest of all eternity, okay? Have a good one.